welcome to my channel, New Body. I am Latriviette, and I will be doing a general reading for the collective audience. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. If you are a regular subscriber of mine, welcome back and thank you for your support. So let's get started. I just want to let some of the newcomers know that while I am a holistic health practitioner and often speak on health and wellness, mental health, physical health or health health, I am not a licensed medical professional. If my messages resonate with you or trigger you in a negative way, please reach out to your licensed medical professional or a licensed therapist. The same for any messages that flow through me that deal with or discuss crime and violence. Just know that it's the energy that I'm picking up on both of those issues. Reach out to your legal people. Reach out to your local PD if you feel triggered by a message of mine. All right, so I'm going to ring my singing bowl. It's going to clear the energy, raise the vibration, and allow me to get a clear and accurate message for you and for myself. Here we go. That last one was, you know, kind of iffy, but let's start off with Street Poets, uh, Melon and Kipper, and see what we get. Just kind of, kind of flow today. Sometimes it's hard just picking the deck. First card out is expectations. In the upright, someone's expecting something. They're waiting on something. There's a pause for something. Stand still. Longing or desire. In the reverse, they don't think they're going to get whatever it is they were expecting. They're not expecting to get that. It's card number 28. Someone could be 28, someone could be born in 1982, 28 reduces to 10. 10 is about a complete ending. Maybe they don't expect something to end, or the expectations of what they wanted to end is not going to end in the way they thought it was going to end. May male. May male might have had some expectations of something ending, but he doesn't expect that now. May male is usually considered someone of fine quality, well dressed, confident. He's the main male of the main female. So, what is the main male expecting? Or well, what was it? Court? Court. All right, so courts, legal, legal issues, lawsuits, final decisions in court. Maybe this main male did not or does not expect things to go in his way from court. It's card number 23. Someone could be 23. Someone could be 32. 23 reduces to 5. 5 is about change, conflict, challenges. Chaos. This main male doesn't expect court to go in, in his way. It's going to be some changes made. What kind of changes are we talking? It's about a false person. Either this main male was a false person or this court issues are regarding a false person. False person is elusive, evasive, deceptive, and deceitful. It's card number eight. Eight is about manifestations. This false person manifested some lies. This false person manifested some deceit. Maybe this false person and this main male had to go to court about it. Some love involved. 
whether it's love with these two or love with other people. It's card number 15. 15 reduces to 6. 6 is about balance, it's about harmony, compatibility. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we can see. Let me get the archetype out. Archetype can tell us some more about some people. What kind of people these are that we're dealing with. Who we're dealing with. All right. What are we talking? Talking about a trickster. Tricksters in reverse talks about someone who manipulates others. That's a false person. So we got some tricksters out. Who else do we have out here? We have a guide. A guide represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. Someone was out here trying to perpetrate like they were a guide. Like they were guiding people in the right direction. But they were some tricksters. Some scammers. Some cons. And that's why they had to go to court. I was going to say go to church. <laughs> they probably need to go to church. That's probably where they doing all of this. It says represents the nature of the divine in life and in yourself. They're probably out here at church, in a church, trying to guide some people. They can't even guide themselves. They go to court. <laughs> what else do we have, Holy Spirit? So we have child magical. It's in the reverse. Child magical talks about pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. Believing that the energy and action are not required for growth. So you have someone out here. You got some tricksters out here. Guiding people when they don't even believe. Wow. You got to be careful who you let in your energy. People will tell you that they don't do certain things and then you find out that they do. Avenger. Avengers in the reverse. Avenger talks about res uh, resorting to violence in the name of a cause. Now I let that Flor Freudian slip of saying church when I meant to say court. And you have often when you see uh, terrorists or other acts of violence against a person or a group, people want to say it's in the name of a cause. These people here, they believe that what they're doing and what they're saying is just. Or they want other people to believe what they're saying and doing is just. But they don't believe it. They're hiding behind church. They're hiding behind a cause that they don't even really believe in. Wow! Didn't expect that in this here reading. Femme Fatale. And it's in reverse. Femme Fatale talks about inappropriate use of sensuality, attachment to money and power. So in this picture here, it's a couple, but it's a woman with the mask on. So there's a Femme Fatale here tied to this main male, which is what I said is the main male is usually tied to a main female. But this femme fatale is out here perpetrating like she is spiritual guru. 
guru, 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 pretending like she is a person of the light. And how she reels people in is with her sensuality and not with actual gifts of the divine. What else do we use? Because that one, that one got me right there. Hmm. Oh, snap. What's in here? Wow. I don't even know if this one, this deck can follow that. That's rough right there. Tarot out. That's going to give me some. All right. I think the tarot is appropriate to follow up with this. First card out is the hermit. Hermit's in reverse. Hermit talks about isolation. Talks about loneliness. Being withdrawn. Virgo energy. So maybe this court case has someone in hermit mode. Or in isolation. What about the hermit? Devil. Got devil energy. Devil energy is Capricorn energy. So someone's going isolating themselves, feeling lonely. They got some addictions going on. Someone's codependent and toxic. Definitely Capricorn energy. So you got some Capricorns out. This is Earth energy. Six cups in reverse. Six Cups in Reverse talks about living in the past. Someone's in isolation, feeling lonely because they're thinking about the past. They could be drinking themselves. They could be, uh, what's the word? Uh, doing the darus. Someone wants forgiveness. Holy Spirit, who are we talking about? This is Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands talks about misinformation. Somebody wants to end conflict. They are in isolation. They're isolating themselves from everyone, withdrawing from everyone, probably drinking and drooging. Living and thinking about the past, wanting for forgiveness for some things that they've done. They want to end this conflict with you, collective. Maybe you have them blocked. They can't reach you. Maybe the divine has them blocked. You have six of swords in reverse. Six of Swords in Reverse talks about personal transition, resisting to change. They want forgiveness, but they want to keep that same behavior. They want to get back in your energy. It's Aquarius energy. Can't move forward if you are still in the past. This person is thinking about whatever happy times they've had with you. They don't want that to change. They want to continue the behavior that they're in, but they want your forgiveness. That, that, none of that makes sense. None of it. Got the Eight of Pentacles. 
Eight of Pentacles is Virgo energy. Someone was working hard at something. Maybe working hard towards getting your forgiveness. Maybe working hard towards getting back into your energy. Do check out my earlier reading today. It really talked about not letting the past ruin your future. You have the Four of Wands in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse is Aries energy. Someone's having an inner celebration, a personal celebration within themselves. Someone's feeling a lack of support from others. Which is why they're in this hermit mode. What is the problem? Which is why they're in this hermit mode. Feeling all sorry for themselves. They're having conflict at home. This could be the main male that's in court with this uh, false female here. This femme fatale. It's a breakdown in communication. They're fighting. This person wants inner harmony. Or this male wants inner harmony. Take it as it resonates for your story. Not all of the story will fit for everyone. None of the story may fit for everyone. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You have Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups talks about wanting to try again. Still with this fear of change, how can you try again if you fear change? Eight of Cups talks about a fear of loss, clinging to the past. This person is deeply in the past, deeply thinking about you, Collective, wanting to be with you, but not wanting to change. So why would you go back to the past to someone who refuses to change? What's, what's the incentive there? How does that benefit me? It's Pisces energy, water energy, all in the emotions. The emperor. Got the emperor out here. 1735 on the clock. The emperor is an uh, authoritarian type person. Very controlled, very disciplined. Could be a father figure. He's a father figure. Could be a father figure. He's about stability and structure. So give me more about this emperor. Let me get some on this emperor. Well, this emperor lacks confidence. And is disappointed in this Six of Wands reverse. Leo energy. So you have an emperor here. Which could have been this main male, as I said, was with this uh, false female. This emperor is all about his ego. How are you all about your ego, but you lack confidence? Make it make sense. What else, Holy Spirit? The magician in the reverse. The magician in the reverse is all about manipulation. Doesn't tap into all of the tools in the magician's toolbox. In the upright, the magician has all the tools. He has the sword, he has the wand, he has the coins, and he has the cups. He can make magic happen. In the reverse, this magician in Mercury energy is lacking all of that. Doesn't even have confidence in his magic, his or her magic. What I'm getting this emperor is in the magician energy in reverse. You have the moon. The moon is about illusions. Illusions and delusions. Someone has anxiety. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going on either with this, uh, the magician, I'm sorry, the, uh, the emperor, who's in hermit mode, who's in magician reverse mode, lacking confidence, 
This doesn't give me the uh, energy or the the faith of our our regularly known emperor. The emperor and the upright is usually not in this kind of character. Death. So we have some endings coming. Death is uh, Scorpio energy. We have some change and transformation going on. Transitioning. Death doesn't always or necessarily have to mean uh, an actual physical death. Death can mean the end of a cycle, the end of a situation. Endings and beginnings. So when one door closes, another door opens. But that door has to close first. Let's get one more. Chariot. Chariot's in reverse. Chariot is that cancer energy, moon energy. Talks about self-discipline in the reverse. Talks about lack of direction and lack of control. This emperor here is out of order. This emperor is out of control. This emperor is... Uh, this could be someone in the emperor energy, but not necessarily an emperor, if that makes sense. Not with all of these negative character traits and qualities out here on this deck. Lack of control, aggression, delusional, fear and anxiety. That's not the representation or the good quality qualities and characteristics of an emperor. This is an emperor in someone else's energy. Death card, uh, not death, uh, I saw it. The devil card. That's addictions. That's not the representation of an emperor in the upright. What time do we have? Let's get some, uh, this is my deck. This is the, uh, what's the word deck? 2.5. Still working on it, but I do use it. I actually use it, uh, for myself. Let's see what's going on. So you have Aquarius and you have Vito. Vito talks about being in denial. Refusing the truth. So you have an Aquarius out here who's refusing the truth. Who doesn't want to uh, accept what is is what it is. What else do we have? You have an abuse. You have abuse. And you have wealth. So there was someone who was... Mentally, emotionally, physically, or spiritually abusive, trying to get some wealth. Or someone who had wealth was mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually abusive. They used their wealth and their power to abuse people or to abuse a person. Take it as it resonates. Woo. Get in there. You have Fremenes. Fremenes, and you have Duplicit. So you have some Fremenes, which is your ops, your rivals, fake friends. Duplicit, deception, lies, and betrayals. So someone has some Fremenes in their circle. You need to check your circle, people. Check it twice. You have some Fremenes who smile in your face, but... Stab you in the back when you turn it. If you have some deception going on or, you know, some things that aren't looking right, check a friend circle. Some people are up to something. You have duplicit again. And you have mate. So mate talks about 
a married couple, husband and wife, that are currently married. They're about some lies and deception. Could these fremenies be the married couple? Or could the fremenies be involved with this married couple that's creating lies and deception, deceit and betrayal? Irate. You have irate and you have succubus. So a succubus is an entity who seduces men in their sleep. It's a feminine energy, feminine entity who seduces men in their sleep. So they may astral travel to this person's home or they uh, can also be the entity attached to a feminine energy uh, who is in your bed. That person's irate. Maybe you cut them off. Maybe you blocked them. Maybe you knew or you found out what they were up to. By seducing men in their sleep, uh, succubus could try to uh, do SEX magic. They can try to bind the males through SEX. Drain the energy of the males. We have luck and stack. So luck talks about blessings, windfalls, surprises. Stack talks about savings, invest in the nest egg. So somebody's going to come into some money. Spirit guides are asking you to, oh my goodness. Spirit guides are asking you to save. Create a little nest egg for yourself so that you have something later, maybe for retirement. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's, what we have for time. All right, let me get a few more and then I'll close out with an angel message. You have trauma and you have conflict. So someone wants to come in and trauma bond with you. Trauma talks about bonding over emotional pain. Maybe you share a similar experience and someone wants to come over and add conflict and strife to that. By trauma bonding, it's like a kind of bind yourself with that person. Uh, over the emotional pain that you have similar to they want to if this is a person you already had a a trauma bond situation with and maybe you let them go they want to come back and, and they want to fight they want to fight because you let them go they want to fight because you block them they want to cause conflict because now they don't have anyone to bond with over their traumatic experience. There's nothing wrong with sharing your experience with people, but if that's the only thing that you have with that person, then that is a trauma bonded relationship. And you have to know when to not only cut it off, but how to end that relationship. Um, We don't always do that when we end relationships. We don't always say, you know, I don't want to be friends with you anymore because we're not growing. This relationship is not moving. It's not helping me to evolve. And it sounds simple to just say right now, but when it comes down to it, it really is kind of hard to tell someone, you know, that they're stuck in that trauma. Whereas you're just sharing. You may have just shared an experience you had because they shared that experience. You may not live in that experience, but they still live in that experience. And so when you cut them off, maybe they, maybe they relived an abandonment issue or maybe they have abandonment issues and you cutting them off when they felt like that was a bond you had, maybe sent them over the edge. So now they want to come fight. All right, let's get this angel message. All 
I see five, two, and six. Angel number five, two, six. Angel number 526 says, surrounding beauty. You see things others cannot. This is a world around you full of mystery and beauty. The way you perceive it is unique. Your angels validate your ability and ask you to show others what you see. Do something artistic today. Paint, write, draw, or sculpt something that speaks to what you see. There's beauty all around us. We have to choose to see it or not. Your angels are asking you to share what you see. It may help someone out. This is your message. I thank you for joining me. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.